that he made in the case. So when this, this secretary come to tell us a whole bundle of lies in an affidavit, he must remember those things. One, he must tell us how the, um, the promotion shortlist was leaked to Brutus. Brutus said so, that the promotion shortlist was leaked to him by a confidential source at the, um, at the police service commission. Brutus said so. He must tell us what happened with the Oit matter where Oit was promoted to inspector and then they took away um, the promotion. He must tell us what happened with the Ramsey because he said in the affidavit that he have over 15 years experience at the police service commission and all of that. So let tell us. Tell us what happened in those matters. Tell us what happened in those matters. Tell us. I'm waiting here for Mr. Conway, but CC got in trouble. CC, if you got trouble today to join me, we can talk some more on Wednesday, man. We can talk. But I really wanted you to join me on this part. So when they come, as I as, as we have we have said, when they realize that the constitution was violated in the suspension of the thing, they manufacture a pack of lies to show that this commission that I chaired was so rogue that um the president had to act, um, had to act. But let me say this, the commission that I chaired was the most consequential commission in years. We sorted out all those disciplinary issues. We streamlined um, the process because, you know, the commission is responsible for promotion and discipline. A lot of people only concern with the promotion part. They don't look at the discipline part. But we said we have to address all of that. So therefore, you have, you have cases where people have this many matter pending for years and no effort is made to address those matters. However, when it's time for promotion, you hear that this person should not be considered for promotion because they have a pending this matter. Let me go back to the promotion that was sent in 2020. Facts. I get the documents. I get my docs lined up. In 2020, I recognize as the chair, you know, they, 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 they have the standing order uh, of the police. Standing order 22 addresses promotion, right? Standing order 22 speaks to, among other things, senior promotion. And it talks about a senior promotion board to make recommendation for promotion. <laughs> and the standing order stipulates that the senior promotion board shall consist of the commissioner, who is the chairman, the deputy commissioner administration, who is the secretary, deputy commissioner crime, deputy commissioner law enforcement, crime, deputy commissioner uh, special branch, and deputy commissioner operations. They are the persons who should form the senior promotion board. I recognize at that time that you are not deputy commissioners in these positions, right? I further recognize that the persons who are sitting in these positions, these operations, um, admin, CID, and special branch, they held the rank of senior superintendent and were in contention to be um, assistant commissioners. I advised the then the man who's sitting in the chair, then as the chairman of the police service commission with a responsibility for promoting, remember the service commission and promoting. I had I advised him, I said, look, the fact that these people are contenders for promotion, they should not sit on the senior promotion board. You have to come up with a board that does not consist persons who are contenders for promotion, which is logical. How can you have people sitting on the board to consider promotion when they themselves are eligible for promotion? So I advise RP put together a um, promotion board. Can there are other senior people who could have um, constituted the board and um, come up with a thing? Lo and behold, the same people some of the same persons who were in contention for promotion sat on the board. And here this one, here this one, again, I get the documents, man. I get the documents. The man that admin at the time was Calvin Brutus, still is, I think, Calvin Brutus, right? He signed a return for promotion to the Police Service Commission. He had a pending disciplinary matter at the time. He wrote to recommend himself for promotion to assistant commissioner. And at the same time, identified 13 ranks in the police force who should not be promoted because they have pending disciplinary matters. I have all the names of those persons. Here it is. Let me repeat it for emphasis. The man sits as admin and signs the promotion return 
to the Police Service Commission, recommending himself to be promoted to Assistant Commission and, and others. And in the same memo that he sends, he is saying that they are at least 13 other ranks who should not be promoted to various levels, not only from think was inspector of, because they have pending disciplinary matters. Tell me if that is not self-serving, if that is not unprofessional, if that is not perhaps even corrupt. You tell me. He sued me once, he can sue me twice. The records are there. The records are there, right? So that is what happened with that um, list. And he said, despite what you hear, Jai, um, Jai Singh saying here, and you know, they, they, they sign these things off of David, and as we say in Guyana, they skin up themselves, right? The, 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 the secretary, uh, let me let me read it here. Let me read the part in the affidavit. What he's saying uh, about the process. He's saying, let me hear, let, listen to what the secretary is saying. I read in the affidavit, he's signing name to it. I wonder how these people could sleep in the night, if they could sleep at all. And let me say this, I am not a uh, superstitious person, but I believe that there is a God. And I believe that if you swear to something, you tell lies, if something can happen to you, it can happen to your family, it can happen to your children, somebody can suffer. You can't be doing these things to people. Here what the man says here in the um, affidavit. This is part 10 of his affidavit. He said, in relation to the procedure for promotion of police officers, the process is that the executive leadership team, which comprises the commission of police, heads of departments, and all divisional commanders, would produce a proposed promotion list the promotion list is then sent to the minister. That is the minister of home affairs for his notification. That is what he's saying. Now show me which part of the constitution it involves the minister of home affairs in the promotion of rank from inspector to assistant commissioner. Show me. That is what the man says in an affidavit. And no doubt that is what took place before we got there. Because as I said, when we got there, things were so awry that we had to put some breaks in it. One of the things I discovered when we got to the Police Service Commission is that when allegations were made that police ranks committed, senior uh, ranks of inspector to assistant commission committed themselves, the police administration used to send the report to the Minister of Home Affairs. And the Minister of Home Affairs, through the PS, would write to the Police Service Commission to say that the minister has no objection to, to the matter being investigated or to charge being implemented. You're rubbish. The, 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 the uh, constitution has no role for the Minister of Home Affairs or any other minister in the promotion and discipline of the um, members of the force. So we stopped that. We told them that must not happen. If a report is made in keeping with the constitution, send it to the Police Service Commission. You cannot even investigate. The police cannot even investigate um, a complaint made against an inspector and above. They have to report it to the Police Service Commission, and the Police Service Commission then has to authorize the, the investigation. So we started to streamline things. We start, but it didn't like that. So that is what he said. He said that this list is said. First of all, this is rubbish. No the executive leadership team um, and anyone ask any one of the officers. That is not the procedure. The procedure, as I've outlined, is the senior promotion board check sounding order twenty two of the Ghana Police Force. The senior police board, peer promotion board, and the composition um, is listed, right? That, so that is what he says. Um, he said, for the promotion list under review, this procedure was followed. And he's talking about the promotion list, um, that this, this list that they put together on the 2nd of uh, July last year. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I wanted Mr. Conway, you ain't getting out yet, to deal with that part too. They said, in compliance with that standard, this is paragraph 12. In compliance with that standard procedure, the promotion list in 2020 compiled by the executive leadership team was sent to the Minister of Home Affairs for his notification. It goes on to say, it goes on to say, while that list was still with the Minister of Home Affairs, the then Commissioner of Police Acting, Mr. Nigel Lappi, sent to me, this is the secretary, sent to me a list for promotion with an attachment letter dated 70, 70 December 2020, which turned out to be different list, which turned out to be a different list from the list prepared by the executive leadership team. You hear nonsense, you hear lies, you hear rubbish. 
And then it goes on to say, paragraph 14, rather than await, rather than await the promotion list prepared by the executive leadership team, which as, as which, as I indicated, is the standard operation procedure of the Police Service Commission on 22nd day of December 2020 and on the 20, uh, 21st day of December 2020. The Police Service Commission met and approved six senior officers to be promoted to the rank of Assistant Commissioner of Police and eight senior officers to be promoted to the rank of Senior Superintendent of Police. From the list received from the Commission of Police, without any input from the executive leadership team. That's what this man straight on for David to see. That is what Jai Gobin Jai Singh, the Secretary of the Police Service Commission, and he knows, he knows it is lie. He knows that that is not um, the procedure. Ask any former member of the Police Service Commission, ask any senior member of the Ghana Police Force, they're going to tell you. Um, then he goes on to say, here, this is what he goes on to say in paragraph 15. None of these officers pro um, purported promotion, none of the officers purportedly promoted were interviewed nor engaged by the Police Service Commission before it arrived at the purported decision to promote them. I want to ask Jai Gobin Jai Singh and the Chairman Farley this question. The list that was removed, that was released on the 2nd of July, were any one of those persons interviewed? Farley, the Chairman of the, he's a bishop, I understand. He's a bishop, another bishop, bishop. He said on the 1st of July, 2022 days last year, he told reporters on the sidelines of the police anniversary church service when they asked him about promotion. He said that they weren't ready yet to consider promotions because they're looking at issues and all that. It's there on record. It's there. He said that. And on the very next day, the 2nd of July, promotions were um, released. On the 2nd, on the 1st, he's saying that um, the, the, the service commission didn't get to that stage yet, but on the second. So tell me what interviews um, he did. What type of, and I'm going to read the next part. What interviews were done to promote those persons um, on the last occasion? They tell me that. Tell the public that. Then he goes on to say, I'm also aware that the names of two senior superintendents which were not on the list sent by the commission of police were added by Paul Slow for submissions to the commission as officers to be considered for promotion. In all my years as secretary of the commission, I have never seen such a step being taken as the chairman and members of the police service commission would always act on the recommendation of the commission of police, who, whom himself as a reviewing team of senior police officers to screen suitable candidates for promotion. And then Selvin telling me about magnanimity and when these people swear to all his lies on the affidavit and try to pull your character down. I can deal with them. I ain't done. I tell you already, no done as you like. No done as you like. Um, but this is rubbish what this man's saying here. At, at no stage, ask Conway or anybody, at no stage did Paul Slow include people on the list. Well, the process was a standard process. When they make recommendations and they recommended that people should be superseded, they have to give justification. And most times, they would write to say that um, this person um, should not be promoted, um, is not ready, or some, some fancy word like that. They should not be considered at this time. And we ask the question, why? A man is senior. Check his file. He has nothing ad <laughs> adverse in his file. Tell us. He might be able to justify it. But just don't say that he should not be considered this time. And therefore, there are lots of persons who were shortlisted who they did not recommend. And they had no justification for not recommending them. They had no disciplinary matter pending. In some cases, they passed the appropriate qualifying examination. And the service commission made a decision. Not Paul Slow. Ask any one of the other members. And this man coming here um, to, to, to lie in an affidavit. He goes on to say, well, he talks here about this, um, the, 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 the result of the, well, he said on December the 30th, 2020. Oh, Mr. Conway is here now. Yes, yeah. all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Man, I've been talking. I'm waiting for you to help me out here, man. I hope you hear <laughs> all the things I've said. I've been hearing you all the time. Perhaps Pegasus on Pegasus working, man, all but right. they can't, right. they couldn't right. deal with us. I've been dealing here with the, um, I've been dealing here with the affidavit 
by the secretary of the police yeah. service commission, Mr. Jai Gobind Jai Singh, with all his lies yeah. that um, he told. Did you ever hear that um, executive leadership team is the one who got to send this thing to the minister and all of that? Tell me what you, your views about this thing, man. Uh, no, 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 no. The, the thing is, yeah. And then the thing is, is that the commissioners got to deal with the police service commission. The minister don't get no, no, no play in that. In terms of appointment, removal, and, and display matters, it is a police service commission, Article 2121, and nobody else, no minister can come into place. The commissioner will only send recommendations to us. And the executive leadership team, they're they, they, the creature of the commissioner. The commissioner have to agree with them. It's the commissioner responsibility Paul, to send to, to, to the police the service commission. And nothing mustn't, go, nothing mustn't go to the minister. Who the hell is the minister? Stick huh? up here, CC. They talk about the executive leadership team, but standing order 22 give the authority to the senior promotion board, you know, executive yeah. leadership team. And that, that, that is it too. But whenever we're done, it is the commissioner, is the commission, he, he doesn't have to agree with them. Whatever the commissioner say, that is it. And we don't Just have like to the, agree with it. The commission doesn't have to agree with the commissioner either. That's the commission true. That's true. Have, and the commission has never agreed 100% with the recommendation sent. I gave the example mm -hmm. of Courtney mm -hmm. Ramsey a while ago, who was actually promoted. And um, when it went to the, the places, his name was removed and other names were inserted. So this thing what um, Jai Gobind Jai Singh right here to say about um, executive leadership team, and he has never seen persons added into the list and all that. He tried to get a man put into the list. He approached Samasal, Samasal told me, to get a man added uh, um, to the promotion. And, and, and Paul, we have to sanitize the list. The list is worse than the voters' list. <laughs> persons who won't pass the exam, they said pass. Person, you know, oh, that we have to go through that list piece by piece, Paul. And I want to correct you. They, they, they had total agreement in terms of promotion, recommendation, the last promotion. Just how it yeah. go? Just oh, yes, said come yes, back. Right. 100%. Just said come back. And you know, you know in, this, in this same affidavit, I, I have it somewhere where um, the secretary is saying, hey, um, chapter 23 of the, uh, of the affidavit, to, uh, chapter 23 says, on the 2nd of July, 2022, the reconstituted police service commission, after deliberations, presented mm. an approved promotion list for appointments within the Guyana police force. That list was based on a list prepared, received, and sent to the commissioner of police, um, sent by the Commissioner of Police to the New Service Commission. As I said before, you know that there's a lie. No deliberation took place, none whatsoever. The, the, the bishop said on the 1st of July that he was awaiting the recommendation from the Commissioner of Police. And on the 2nd of July, the morning 2nd of July, 250-something persons were promoted. They had deliberation throughout the night? Did they check any file? A man, I remember the commission asked, well, let me check the, we ain't checking no files. And he was told, hey, we were told that whatever the police want, we must, we must give them because we don't know the police. And the thing is, our service commission, the members, we knew all the, the policemen there, especially the senior people. We knew them, but although we knew them, we still got to go through the files to check to verify because they give us a whole lot of nonsense poppycock. Well, yeah, a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of things. So the the whole thing is that this thing, what the, the um secretary, I don't know how these people sleep in the night, you know. I don't know how they sleep in the night. Somebody say maybe they're drinking us or a thing for knock themselves out to sleep in the night to tell all of these lies. You and it's it's, all is por it's poetry. Well, uh, well, I that's why if you all said it earlier when he yeah. spoke about the lies in an affidavit told by the Prime Minister, and now by this Secretary. He, he said that I am um, a magnanimous person, maybe, and I, I don't believe that, that magnanimity exists any longer, and I will have to mm -hmm. seek legal guidance because they are trying to tarnish my reputation. And therefore, I will, I will have to seek legal counseling as to the way forward. As I've said before, no done as you like. 
they came after me 